wondering two things right now. First of all, why am I sitting on the floor? Floor gang! Now my desk has evolved to a dinner table. There it is. And secondly, why are all the walls white and empty? Well, I painted them last two days. My body is full of paint, everything was full of paint, it was a mess, I never want to do it ever again. But we are redecorating the place and the first step of that is to go to Ikea. Let me bring you with me. Since this is the first time I talk to the camera, I can see a huge flaw. And that is that the mic is hiding the display, so it's super annoying. Oh, this would be really handy for my camera stuff. I'm writing this down. We need a kitchen, guys. I need this. I bought way too much stuff. But this hot dog is delicious. Now, before we're going to install all of this stuff, there is one thing that I bought that is not from Ikea. Ugh. Now, I've been looking for a nice wooden desk for so long, and this one from Oako, Oko, Denmark is... It is just perfect. I cannot wait to just install it, because it has been standing here for some days, and... I really want to have a new desk. Well, it turns out that doing all the cables and stuff is taking way too long. So first, I want to chill. And for that, we're going to make our chill spot. Wow. This is actually way more comfortable than I expected it to be. Oh man, these plants, they give me oxygen. Bit dangerous, isn't it? Like a cactus. Ah! No, it's, it's, it's a fake plant. They're all fake. This corner right here, this is just like an empty corner. I want to have my tool place right here, so all my camera stuff and maybe some cube stuff right here. And I have some nice things for that. Y you'll see in a second. It's another day. I almost finished the tool corner. It is looking pretty cool, but I'll just finish it and then show everything when it's completed. But for now, what I want to do is... Oop, I almost fell. I want to fill up that wall with cubes. Now that's something I missed in my previous setup is just having some cubes in the background, which I did not have. I had my main shelf right there, but you almost never saw it. So that's what I want to do right now. And what I bought for that is these are basically shells for, um, it's for photographs like uh, frames, but I, I figured that the size would be really good for actual cubes. I'm really happy with this. There's only one more thing left to do and that's installing this one. I don't have a picture for that one yet, but it will be an epic picture. Um, I'm just going to install everything, put the cubes on the shelf, just finish everything. And I will see you tomorrow with the end result. Not on the new desk, you idiot. Welcome to the new setup. Um, why I'm holding the mic like this, it doesn't matter. And let's talk about the angle. It's probably the same as it used to be, but I kind of want to experiment with different angles. I kind of like some sideways. Wait, this looks horrible. I kind of like the more sideways stuff as well. Something like this, where you see Pablo as well. So I might experiment with different angles. But that's not for this video. This video is just about the setup. Let's start by talking about this beautiful desk. Jeez, man, I just dropped my camera on my desk. Anyways, this is my desk. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to just have like top-down reviews or unboxings, because look at this. Wow. The background will be super cool. Uh, this is the way I basically will use it. It's pretty messy right now, so I have my computer on the left. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Uh, and that's really convenient because all the cables for everything are on this side and on the right side we have this one single cable which is for the camera. So this is the side where I film my videos and we have plastic plant for oxygen. We have this huge light behind it. So this is how I film my videos and coffee because we need to stay awake. 
The cool thing about this desk is, first of all... Oh, look at the auto focus. It's super fast. First of all, you can raise or lower the desk, which is super, super, super cool if you work a lot behind the computer and you can actually stand while working. That's basically why I spend a lot of money on this desk. But the guys from Waco, Denmark, Waco, Woko, Denmark, were so nice to give me a discount. And they give you guys a discount as well. If you want to buy yourself a desk just like this one, check the description and you will get like free shipping. I think it's in Europe. Another thing I want to show you is... Ah! Oh, let's scroll under the table with me. So what I wanted to show you is that all the cables run through this cable tray, I think. So that's why it's super clean underneath. I mean, look at this. You cannot see a single cable except for these cables right there. So on the right side of the desk, we have the beautiful tool corner. I basically have everything to work on a cube right here. So we have premium loops, angstrom loop and TNM is pretty random, but magnets and stuff like that, screwdrivers, other kind of loops, cube cover. I need a new one. Look at this. It's like so old. Cubicle, give me a new one. But now that we're talking about the cubicle, use discount code CUPED for a huge discount at cubicle.com. Thank you so much. Then we have like stack mat stuff right here. I think it looks pretty neat. It is pretty empty right now, but I'm sure that I will find more stuff to hang on the board. Please, which cube is it? Oh, it's like the 356 XS. I don't know why it's in there, but... Uh, so this is the place where I will work on my cube. So whether it is lube a cube, magnetize a cube, I will just do it here using these tools. And I can have like super cool shots of it when I'm working on it. I will be like this and then show you how I work on the... I, I, it, it will be super cool, just trust me. Then underneath we have just a spot for uh, camera stuff. And then we have like these three boxes. It's just for management. Filled with cubes. These, these boxes are pretty big. So that's basically how I will store my cubes and camera stuff. Looks pretty cool. But if you go to the right... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Pablo. This looks so beautiful. You should see it in real life. It's so, so beautiful. Why is the light over here? Can I, can I block it with my arm? No, I cannot. I might use this for some merchandise. Who knows? Stay tuned. And then right here we have just, um, yeah, it, it has always been like this. Rest in peace, Tanyoung. Oh, actually? Oh, I cannot close it. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> Cubicle, if you see this, I need spare parts. It's starting to looking like a graveyard over here. And then we have Pablo's corner. He's sleeping right now. Hey, wake, <laughs> wake up, buddy. All right, he's awake. Super, super cozy. I will chill here when I'm reading or editing a video, who knows? So Pablo is maining the uh, WRM 2020. I don't really like it. It's 55 millimeters, which is a bit too small for me, but Pablo has really, really tiny paws. But yeah, if we move to the right, we see all the cubes. So we have my main shelf on the top. I'm missing my three x three, but I think it's the uh, Air M. I kind of like it a lot. So we have four x four, five FI, six x six MGC. They're doing a great job. Two x two Volk two M. And then right over here, these are basically all super cool 3x3s. I could just add all my cubes, but I thought it would be better to just keep it a bit cleaner and just have a few cubes. Now you can see this beautiful photograph. It's just like a stock photograph from Ikea. But you guys can choose... Why is it not focusing? But you guys can choose which photograph should be in this frame. Just comment your ideas. I will choose a very creative one. The one with the most likes has the highest chance. So like everything you see that you think is cool. And yeah, I think it will be fun to just see what you guys came up with. So yeah, this is my setup right now. All right, guys, so this was a quick overview of my new setup. Now, before you leave, I quickly want to talk about something. I was first not going to address it because I thought, who cares? But I think it's important to talk about it. I haven't uploaded in three, four weeks. Why? Well, the first week, um, it was extremely hot in here. Like extremely hot, it was like 36 degrees inside of here. So I'm not used to that. My computer wasn't used to that and it overheated. I could not work on it. I had some issues with it, but after a week I could use it again. And I worked on a video and I accidentally deleted it. Super stupid. I'm an idiot, guys. I, I've said it before, I will say it again. Who cares, right? Just do something else. Well, the problem there was that I got really, really stressed. Like, I missed two videos. 
and I was getting a lot of messages saying that where's the next video like when are you uploading again and I kind of wanted to take a break and kind of regain control over why I'm making these videos which was to have fun to entertain you guys and, and I feel that I can only entertain you guys when I'm having fun myself and I get it like thank you for wanting more content of me I, I don't see that as a bad thing it was just probably something personal I think I should give it a better place like should tell myself that it doesn't really matter but I think these weeks did me really well like I practiced more cubing like I actually did a lot of 4x4 which I never really enjoyed but I, I started really enjoying that and I found my passion again for just cubing in general and I think I kind of reset my intentions that I really want to be myself I want to enjoy making videos I just hope you guys appreciate that like some of you enjoy my content obviously and I'm really thankful for that like it makes my day and, and hopefully I can make your day as well just understand that sometimes it might be difficult to create a video sometimes something might get in the way understanding that would be like a real help um, I got off Instagram as well it has nothing to do with that I, I was just wasting too much time on social media I just quickly wanted to take a break I think a lot of people have been through that I will probably be back very soon but anyways I'm very happy that I got to talk about this I freestyled this whole video I, I just wanted it to be me that's something I think I learned last week that I just want to be myself and and enjoy making content and I think you guys will appreciate that as well anyways if you like the video please give it one and if you want to see more of me just subscribe thank you it it means a lot to me really guys and i guess i will see you in the next video ciao